Hello, hello, and welcome. I hope you guys are having a grand day. So guess what? I have created a submission for Tamika, who is Scrap the World here on YouTube. Her is a link party. Actually, I did a two-fold project. Um, this is actually going into another project in which I'm going to upload later um, probably later in the month once my swap partner receives her um, submission but this is um, my contribution to Tamika's channel I want to support her channel and also to uh, showcase what I've created because I am using this like I said in an additional project so Tamika has a um, link on her channel to some photo books that she created using one 12 by 12 sheet of paper that was a requirement for the swap that I'm participating in so let me show you what I created I utilized this Kaiser Crafts key to my heart paper pad collection it was six double-sided paper um, sheets included and a sticker sheet that's what I have remaining I'm proud of myself I did myself well I killed this kit yay um, be sure to come back and check for the video in which um, features the whole entire project. Alright, so here is what I created. This is my photo book. I have included a um, belly band on mine. So this just slides off. Uh, let me take the contents out first. I'll share you with you guys these later. But I just created a belly band. I used a doily. I used a doily, um, some flowers, and I put some Wink of Stella on the flowers. Some stickers from the collection. A um, twine bow. Not a twine. Yeah, yeah a twine bow. And um, a little heart there. And I just created a belly band with the paper. I used a piece of 12 by 12 coordinations uh, glitter paper for the base. It's a nice 80 pound card stock. And it opens up like this. These are butterflies from the sticker collection. And this is Love is a Dream for Two Lives to Share. And then this is the um, branding strip on the bottom. And it flips up like this. I use some ribbon from um, the Target Dollar Spot. And here are more of the uh, stickers. I inked the edges. I went a little crazy right there, didn't I? <laughs> um, and it just folds down like this. Let me get in frame. I think this is such a gorgeous paper. Anything with script on it, I'm there. I love it. I love it so much. So let me um, bring this in a little bit closer so you guys can see the embossing detail on that. These are spell binders. And um, they're spell binders dies. And what I did was um, I left everything blank. This is the back side. The fold up pieces that you guys saw. So I left everything blank that she can so she can decorate it. But I um included items that she can use to decorate it. So I made some tags. So she can use these as photo spots or as journaling spots. And just put some on a coordinating ribbon ribbon ribbon. <laughs> ribbon on the top. And she can just let me scoop this up. She can just use these to, uh, you know, maybe tuck as she would like. And I have included some blank, or blank ones. These are smaller, so maybe she can journal in, but also she can um, slip these under here. Put a photo on them. She can do as she'd wish. I cut out some word sentiments using a memento die. And these I cut out using a um, lawn fawn set. 
Conversation Hearts by Lawn Fawn. And these I cut out. This is another Spellbinders die. And on the inside, I, I you know, did one with the black and white um, offset. One with the white offset with ivory and one with a black offset. And then I pulled out an oldie but goodie. And this is one of my Sizzix dies. You know how they have those thinless that come 10 or 12 in a pack. So I just cut it out in cream or ivory. And I went around it with one of my um, script wood blocks. So to give it a scripty print. I suggest that be a staple in everybody's stash. A scripty wood block um uh, well, a scripty background stamp. It brings such character to just monotonous paper. This is a ATC um, gift tag by uh, Graphic 45. It's just a journaling spot. And these all came from the same die set. I just put everything on my Gemini and ran it through one time. And then stamped it out. So she can use these to adorn her book. And that's that. Um, I do hope she enjoys it. And I hope you guys enjoy my little link. Um, in the description box below will be a link to Tamika's channel. Um, this is something that she's going to be doing on a monthly basis. So I hope that you will consider participating. I do believe that there are some prizes to be won. Don't enter me for no prizes to make a thank you, but no thank you. I'm good. Give it to somebody who could benefit from it. I don't need anything else in my craft room. Um, but I did want to actually share my project with you guys. So thank you so much, guys. Be blessed, and thanks for tuning in. Bye for now.